In this video, you're going to learn a simple dynamic warm-up routine that will help you play better tennis on the court and prevent injuries with no equipment. Hi, I'm Mirban Aranshad from Tennis Files, where I teach you the latest strategies and techniques to help you improve your tennis game. And I've interviewed hundreds of top tennis pros and coaches, including James Blake, Dr. Mark Kovacs, Nick Boliteri, Dean Hollingworth, and many others. And one of the most important things that I've learned from them is the dynamic warm-up. A dynamic warm-up is super important because it helps you get ready to play your best tennis and prevents injuries. Today, I'm gonna to show you 10 simple exercises that you can do anywhere to warm up for your tennis training and matches. Question of the day. Before the video starts, I want to know, what is your favorite dynamic warm-up exercise? Let us know in the comments below. All right, now let's get straight into the video. So the first exercise that we wanna to do to start off our dynamic warm-up routine are jumping jacks. And we're gonna be doing three kinds of jumping jacks. The first kind is just your standard jumping jack where you have your arms out at your sides and then you just bring them up while you simultaneously split your feet outwards. And we're gonna do 20 of those. And then the next variation of the jumping jack is gonna be called the seal jacks. And with the seal jacks, the difference between that and the regular uh, jumping jacks is that you're gonna have your arms go out to your sides and then come in and clap. And your feet do the same thing as a normal jumping jack. And then the third kind is the crossover jack and then with crossover jacks, you're going to simultaneously cross over your arms and your legs. Go back to the normal position and then cross them the other way. The second exercise that we want to be doing for our dynamic warm-up routine are walking knee hugs. And with walking knee hugs, they really help out your hip mobility, the flexibility in your glutes, and your hamstrings and your balance as well, especially when you do them walking. And so you're just gonna walk forward and then hug your knee to your chest, as you can see in the video. The third exercise that we're gonna do for our dynamic warm-up exercise are side knee hugs. And so they're very similar to the previous warm-up exercise, except you're going to actually grab your ankle and then have your knees in a side position. So this is gonna work your inner thighs, your groin and your hips really well. And I find that it really helps me out with my lateral movement. The fourth exercise is going to be the quad hold and reach. And with this exercise, it's gonna be kind of like a normal quad stretch, except with this one, you simultaneously grab your right leg with your right hand, let's say, to begin, but then you're also going to reach up to the sky with your left arm, and then you're gonna switch the arms and legs and do 12 of those. And so far with all these exercises, I recommend 10 to 15 reps Obviously on the lower side of things if this is your first time doing them and just focus as much as you can on your form. And if you're enjoying this dynamic warm-up routine so far, then I highly recommend that you stick around to the end of this video for a free bonus that I think you're really gonna enjoy and find useful. All right, now let's keep going with the exercise routine here. Our fifth exercise for our dynamic warm-up are called Frankenstein. And we've all seen Frankenstein walking before, right? So. The name obviously reflects the movement. So you're gonna have your arms straight out and then you're going to bring your legs up to your level of your arms and so that hopefully you can touch your knees to your hands. And this really helps a lot with our hamstrings and our glutes to get them ready for playing or training. Now this sixth exercise I really love, and it's going to be the side lunge with lift. 
and this really fires up my lower body and also my upper body. And so what you're gonna do with the side lunge with lift is you're going to do a normal side lunge and try as best as you can to touch your ankles and keep your weight on your back foot. You don't wanna lean forward too much here or not at all if you can help it. And then when you go back up, you're going to reach up with your hands to the sky. So this really works your balance, your coordination, as well as your glutes, your hip joint, and your quads. Switch sides. The seventh exercise in our dynamic warm-up routine are air squats. And with air squats, uh, it's really fantastic exercise that works on our hamstrings, our quads, I mean really our whole lower body. And with this one, you can take your time a bit to get to parallel. The first couple, you might do a partial air squats if you like. And then eventually, of course, we want to get to that parallel position. And we want to pretend that we're sitting back on a seat and we can have our arms out in front of us. And again, the weight on our back feet. The eighth exercise in our dynamic warm-up routine are monster walks. And with this exercise, it's very similar to side lunges, and it's really a great lateral movement warm-up. So with this one, you want to perform side steps or side lunges, if you will. And what you want to do is leave space in between so that you, you don't want to have your feet be touching each other when you're doing this movement. And you want to try to stay low as best as you can. I think that in the video that you see here, I could have definitely stayed a bit lower or gotten lower, but I did work out a lot that day. That's no excuse, but uh, try to get as low as you can on this particular movement as well. Our ninth exercise are our shoulder Y's, T's, W's, and low rows. And so with this one, the Y's, you wanna do five of each. So uh, the first variation is where you have your arms at your sides and then you bring them up to look like a Y and you then bring them back down and repeat that five times. The shoulder T's are where you have your arm out wide and then you bring them together. Do that for five. Shoulder W's are you just simply have your elbows in close to you and then you bring your arms forward to the center. And lastly, the low rows, very simple as well. You have your arms at your sides and then you bring them straight out in front. And then our final warm-up exercise are twists. And we just wanna make sure to warm up our obliques and to make sure that we get some rotational warm-up exercise in so that we are prepared for that same type of movement when we're playing. Obviously, we're rotating our bodies quite a bit. And so this is a very simple exercise. You just have your hands on your shoulders and then you're just twisting each side but you the main thing is you want to do it slow and controlled so that you don't hurt anything uh, you certainly don't want to be herky-jerky when you do this so just nice and slow and controlled and that's the dynamic warm-up routine I hope you really enjoyed and got a lot of value from this video if you did I'd really love it if you would smash the like button and subscribe to the Tennis Files YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. And I didn't forget about the bonus I mentioned earlier. So if you would like this dynamic warm-up routine in a handy PDF format, then just go to tennisfiles.com slash warmup. And this link is also in the description below this video. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. And remember to always take action on what you've learned as soon as you can because information without any action doesn't really do us much good.
And again, this is Mirban from Tennis Files, and I want you to keep improving your tennis game as much as you can, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.